RMR are the two widely used rock mass clarification systems which have been successfully used to estimate conditions of stability and determine support systems for many underground constructions. In mining, such empirical methods have usually been used in order to confirm the empirical results obtained and hence the decision taken as a solution for a particular problem are reliable estimates of the strength and deformation characteristics of the rock masses require numerical approach. The trend is towards the use of numerical analysis techniques in order to model and estimate the stresses and strains around tunnel supports. They are either used to specify the support system or to verify the appropriateness of the empirically selected support system. Rock mass classification method does not require any study of any particular failure mechanism for the forces necessary to stabilize unstable rocks, but all potential failure mechanisms in a rock mass are considered to be addressed by the support measure thus decided. To have stood out among the many rock mass qualification techniques created for use in underground excavation engineering. They are referred to as rock mass rating, which is RMR, and tunneling quality index, which is Q. The purpose of the study is to contribute to a deeper understanding of the reliability of the two methods of classification. The rock mass along a tunnel path is divided into a range of structural masses to enforce the rock mass rating RMR classification. Areas in which such geological features are more or less uniform. There are six classifications such as uniaxial compressive strength of intact rock material, rock quality designation RQD, spacing of discontinuities, condition of discontinuities, groundwater conditions, and orientation of discontinuities. For each structural area, the parameters are calculated from the measurement in the field. The readings are assigned to each parameter until the classification parameters are determined. As you can see, these are rock mass rating classifications of rock masses. This is the RMR classification guide for excavation and support in rock tunnels. This is the result of the numerical analysis. They are shown in different color of contours. At depth of 50 meter, for a 10 meter diameter tunnel, both empirical designs based on RMR and Q system are sound. The total deflection of the tunnel boundary indicates that stage 2. The deflection was less than 12 mm and 6 mm for Q and RMR system respectively. The Q system support design was found to be less conservative and hence the total deflection were higher than the RMR support system. The total displacements of the tunnel boundary is sensitive to the UCSI value. Therefore, further parametric study is required and to determine in-situ displacement during the excavation, the instrumentation should be installed. 